You're scrolling on Instagram or TikTok and you come across one of those what I eat in a day videos. What happens when you watch them? How do you feel as a result? In this video, I'm sharing some of the problems that I see as a registered psychologist with these what I eat in a day videos and also some tips on how to best approach them. I'm Lara, the food freedom psychologist and I can help you create a healthy and happy relationship with food without guilt or stress eating. I hope you're getting so much value from my videos and if you are, please do give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. And side note here, if you are feeling overwhelmed and out of control around food, then sign up to my free Food Freedom Masterclass. The details are below and it looks like this. Question. Have you watched any of those What I Eat In A Day videos? How did it make you feel? I'm super curious, so let me know in the comments below. Today I'm sharing five things that I see as problematic with these What I Eat In A Day videos. And this comes from the point of view of me being a registered psychologist. So this might not impact you at all, and that's totally cool. But I think these things are worth considering the next time you watch one of these videos. Number one is I think these videos are often very unrealistic. They maybe just one part of someone's life or a specific day or even a specific meal. We know that on social media there's so much impression management. There's loads of photos and videos that just don't make the cut. Most people aren't going to post the thrown together meals or the meals that look like ugly slop, but they do post their beautifully created meals that maybe they spent several hours trying to make. And you may or may not have the time, the energy, or even the money to be able to eat like that. So this in and of itself might not necessarily be a problem, especially if you are aware of this, but some young impressionable people could feel like this is the standard that they need to eat. They need to eat perfectly all the time. The second issue I see is that one size does not fit all. We are all totally different people with different genetics, different backgrounds. We all have really different calorie needs and requirements. Some people are more active than others, in which case they need to eat more in a day. Some of us have different dietary requirements. But there's often this underlying assumption when you watch these what I eat in a day videos is that if you eat like that influencer, then you're gonna look like her too. And I have a problem with that, especially if it's encouraging people to eat in a way that's not actually healthy for them. I also often see videos that appear like the person eats very little in a day, which may or may not be the case. But if it's assumed by the person watching it that that influencer eats very little and then they try to copy that, I think it can become a real problem. Third issue I see is that often on these videos I hear the influencers giving advice. We need to remember this advice is not from someone who is necessarily expert in the field. So I hear people say things like, oh, I'm eating in this way and it's really helped with my bloating. Or I'm eating this way and it's really helped with my acne. Or whatever. So we have to remember that this advice is not coming from an expert. It's just their personal opinion. So yeah, it might have helped with their bloating or their acne. But I think sometimes that message gets a little bit mixed because again, the assumption is if you eat in that way, it will help you too. And honestly, if you have food related issues, then you kind of want to go to the expert to get the advice. The fourth issue that I see is it really encourages comparison. When I watch these videos, I definitely compare what I eat to what that influencer is eating. And then I look at my meals and I look at theirs and I think, ooh, wow. But luckily, I'm so far beyond my eating disorder days that it doesn't really impact me. But I can well imagine my teenage self comparing what these influencers are eating compared to what I was eating and it turning into something very negative. I can imagine for some people it may bring up feelings of guilt or anxiety or pressure to eat in a certain way. You may feel like you're not eating good enough or healthy enough or even pretty enough. We spend far too much of our time comparing and this is just another place where we compare and comparison really isn't good for us. And the fifth issue I see is that it can encourage disordered behaviours. And I've seen a lot of those what I eat in a day videos that will say things like what I eat in a day to stick to 1200 calories or 
what I eat in a day as a model or what I eat in a day to lose weight. So I'm seeing on these videos very, very low calories, people on diets, people restricting. So this may encourage viewers to also diet or also restrict or also eat very low calories. Or they may even overcompensate by over-exercising, for example. That's all really disordered behavior. So having said all this, if you do want to go ahead and watch those what I eat in the day videos, then what's the best way to approach them. Here are my tips. First, if you do find them triggering in any way, I would really approach with caution. Maybe you just want to filter out the kinds of people that you're watching so that you avoid any of those super restrictive what I eat in day videos. I would also focus on seeing them as fun and not factual. So yeah, it might be fun to see what this model eats in a day or that influencer eats in a day, but don't see it as something that you should copy or try to emulate. You might also see these videos as a way to discover new dishes or try out new recipes. So focusing on it from more of a discovery perspective. But I think ultimately, if you find in any way that it's encouraging any disordered behaviors like dieting or cutting back, cutting out on food groups or over-exercising, then honestly, I would avoid them altogether. So I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments which tip you found most helpful. And as always, I've added some resources and some links for you to explore below. And there's two books that I recommend. One is called Just Eat It, and one is called Good Food, Bad Diet. So both of them have a really fabulous way to think about eating that's not about restricting food in any way, all about finding the best way to eat in a health-promoting way. And if you're ready to make peace with food, then sign up to my free Food Freedom Masterclass. The details are below, and it looks like this. Check out these videos next for more health, food freedom, and mindset tips. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you know anyone who might benefit from watching this video, then please do share it with your friends. Bye for now.